Should you buy batteries with your solar system? Short answer, no. Bit controversial. <laughs> but bear with me, I'll explain why. And bear in mind, this is July 2016, if you're watching this like in the distant future. Let's pick an example, the, the granddaddy of all the batteries, the Tesla Powerwall. Tesla Powerwall, retrofitted to an existing solar system, is going to cost you about 10,000 Australian dollars. It has a warranty of 10 years, and no one's expecting it to last much longer than 10 years, and the payback is 15 years plus. So do the maths. It's not going to pay for itself. Simple as that. Now, I understand that economics isn't everything, and neither should it be. You don't just buy things for economic reasons, you have other reasons. So what are the other reasons that you might buy a battery in 2016? Well, number two is green, environment, okay? I, I'm a raging greenie. I ride my bike everywhere. I live in a straw house, for Christ's sake. I'm a raging greenie. But the truth about batteries is, in 2016, they do not help the environment. When you put your solar electricity through a battery, you lose between 10 and 20% of it down to the inefficiencies of the battery system. So immediately, you're losing 20% of the good, clean, green energy that you're putting in there. The other thing to point out is that the batteries take an awful amount of embodied energy to make. The best number I can get is it's 400 kilowatt hours of energy to make one kilowatt hour of storage. So that energy has to come from somewhere, and generally these batteries are made in factories that are powered by coal. They're made in China. It's as simple as that. So you're taking your clean green solar energy that would otherwise get exported to the grid and offset dirty grid powered electricity and putting it through a battery. You're not helping the environment. I know it hurts to let your solar go out into the grid for only five, six, seven cents a kilowatt hour, but in environmental terms, that's the best thing you can do with your clean solar energy, offset dirty grid electricity. Don't put it through a battery for environmental reasons. The third reason you might buy batteries, and it's, it's a really good reason on the surface, is to drive battery prices down. You understand that it's the early adopters that pay more for these things like batteries and solar panels, and then they build the industry, and then economies of scale prices go down. So if you're thinking about buying batteries for that reason, great, but you don't have to. I'm here to tell you, you don't have to. The thing that will drive battery prices down is the incredible popularity of electric vehicles in the next three, four, five years. That's going to be over and above anything we can put in our homes, and that is going to drive battery prices down. We don't need to spend our hard-earned money on a battery system that's going to make our electricity dirtier and not pay for itself. We can wait three to four years with a clear conscience, and battery prices will, by all accounts, fall 40, 50, 60% in the next two, three, four years. 